I'm Maureen and this is Hazel and one of us just read this great book. The other one is, is eating hamburger so that she's on camera. I know I know my coworkers dogs don't have to be lured to be photographed but this girl works for doesn't work for free. Okay so about this book though there's a lot to unpack in it. It's made for people who love art, who love poetry, uh, who love great writing. The author's father, Peter Sheldahl, died just a few weeks after the book was published in November. Um, Sheldahl was a poet as well as a critic whose elegant reviews in The New Yorker and before that The Village Voice made him an indispensable guide to contemporary art. A college dropout, he moved to New York in the 60s after spending a year in Paris. Um, when he got to New York, he was just in awe of the poet Frank O'Hara, uh, who, after serving in the Navy, went to Harvard and uh, was the roommate of the, of the painter Edward Gorey. In addition to being a leading poet in the 1960s, O'Hara was a curator at the Museum of Modern Art. I have a dog in my lap now. Um, he also partied hard with the leading artists of, of the, the decade, actually of the whole uh, 1900s, uh, Jackson Pollock, William de Kooning, Larry Rivers, and Jasper Johns. Jasper Johns is my personal favorite. And um, my favorite of his paintings is called In Memory of My Feelings, Frank O'Hara. It's owned by the MCA. Uh, O'Hara died in a freak accident in 1966 at age 40. Following his death, uh, Sheldahl taped interviews with all um, the artists and poets who um, O'Hara hung out with uh, because Sheldahl wanted to write his um, biography. Um, he never completed it. And decades later, his uh, Sheldahl's daughter, um, Ada, found the taped cassettes of the interviews in her father's storage locker in, in the village. And so she decided that she was going to complete with what her father never, never did. She was going to write O'Hara's biography. And in fact, in part, this book is his biography, but it's also Sheldahl's biography. And it's um, a history of the art and poetry scene in the 1960s. And it's also the story of a, a daughter's fraught relationship with an extremely difficult father. So it works on all four of those level, levels amazingly well. I think you'll like it.